What happened to Josh Hosang? Josh Hosang was once one of the biggest NHL prospects with his great skill and playing ability. But where is he now? Well, the simple answer is that Josh is no longer under NHL contract. Josh started his major junior career in 2012 with the Windsor Spitfires and he received a great deal of praise from Hockey Night in Canada host Don Cherry during this time. It was clear Josh was a very talented player. Josh was drafted 28th overall by the New York Islanders in 2014. Islanders GM Garth Snow received some criticism for drafting a player who had begun to develop a poor reputation. He had this to say about Hosang. He'll fit right in, they shit on me too. Garth is known for being one of the worst general managers in NHL history, so this pairing was going to be doomed from the start. Josh would attend Islanders training camp in 2014, but would be sent back to the OHL where he had a great season. However, in 2015, Josh failed to report to the first day of the Islanders training camp on time, and Garth's tune quickly changed. Enough with the bullshit, it's time to grow up. Josh was sent back to the OHL for another full season. Garth would soon get the boot, and Josh would have to start his pro hockey career in the minors. During his first two seasons, he would bounce between the NHL and the AHL. He would put up great numbers in the AHL and even decent numbers in the NHL. It was clear that Josh Hosang had the talent to play in the NHL, but his defensive game needed work. At the start of the 2018 season, Josh was asked by GM Lou Lamorello to change his jersey number. As Lou has an archaic policy which prohibits players from wearing any jersey with a number higher than 35. This passe request definitely didn't help the relationship between Josh and Lou. But things really came off the rails in 2019 when Hoseng requested a trade. Hoseng became frustrated with being sent down to the minors and the relationship with the Islanders was broken. Lamorello was unable to trade Hoseng after clearing waivers. Josh was placed on loan to the San Antonio Rampage instead of playing with the Islanders' AHL affiliate partway through the season. Josh would re-sign with the team and return to the Islanders training camp in 2020, but would be shipped off to Sweden to play for the Orebro HK of the Swedish Hockey League. Orebro would then release him, stating that he was unfit to play, and Hosang would move to Linköping HC to play the rest of the season. After receiving great mental coaching from the Linköping HC staff, Hosang returned to North America, attending the Toronto Maple Leafs training camp and being signed to an AHL deal by the Toronto Marlies in 2021. Hosang was selected to play for Team Canada in the Beijing Olympics, where he had three assists in five games. His season with the Marlies would end with moderate success, and his future with the team is unknown at this point. And that's what happened to Josh Hosang. Make sure to subscribe to Outside the League for hockey content you can't get anywhere else.